Hi, this is David with Hanson Carlin Architecture and Construction. I want to talk to you today about a steam shower. This home here, we're uh, building a steam shower. We have it partway done, but um, steam's always a tricky thing in a house, and I always kind of cringe at putting these in because um, if, if steam gets out of the house, it can sure do a lot of damage to the structure of the house. So you really want to build these right and tight and, and uh, take extra precautions so that you don't let steam into the envelope of the house where, uh, where you don't want it. So on this, this, this project right here, um, we're, we're building this all out of a product called Weddy or Weedy. And it's a, it's a German brand product. And uh, what, what, uh, what we've done with the steam shower here is, is we've used two inch thick panels of this product on the walls. And the reason we did that is, is not only is, is this, the product itself will add insulation, if you will, to the steam shower. So this is, uh, you have to, when you're figuring out a steam shower, you have to figure out whether it's going on an inside wall or an outside wall. Here's what the, the weedy panel looks like. So in this particular instance, this is two inches thick. Normal showers would go a half inch thick, but the center of it's, it's a foam type of structure of makeup. And then it has a hard outside that the thin set sticks to really well. So this actually adds significant insulation value to the steam shower. The steam shower here is sloping from front to back here. So that the water when it creates up here will run down this way instead of on the wall. So you always have a slope ceiling in here. The other thing we did was, is, is you'll notice the ceiling is lower in the steam shower than the nine foot ceiling on here. For a couple of reasons, that gives you less cubic feet to heat. But in my thinking too, the, the part of the reason we did that is, is we have all of the, the regular attic up there not at the nine foot level, but then we insulated this back down. So it's about seven foot on this side and maybe six foot eight on this side so that we could um, protect the, the, the structure of the truss roof above from uh, getting cold and condensating in there. Uh, care needs to be taken at all of the, at all of the places where you're gonna have any, any holes or joints and we'll, we'll carefully silicone around the plumbing, but you can see the tiles cut really tight around it. And so that's the, that's the theory here. Okay, we're down in the, in the basement of the home. Uh, above us, probably in 10 foot here to the left is the master bedroom. So we ran the steam shower line uh, that's gonna provide to the steam generator here. And uh, what we have is, um, this is the, the water coming in and the water to the, the water going to the steam shower itself is going to be all regular copper instead of using the PEX because we just wanted to have that, that uh, the protection in case the heat. Of course, that's all insulated. So this is gonna be, go to the generator itself, provide the water into it, and that's gonna go to the shower. And this is a conduit we ran to the control system up there in the wall. We put a string in it so that we could pull the final wire through. We to wire that. The steam shower also, at least ours, takes more uh, power than normal. So we've run a 6-2 wire here that will provide the 240 voltage. 